Well, Linda and I are down here in Central Florida. We got an email from a fellow named Anthony, and he said he had a cargo trailer that he wanted us to take a peek at. He sent us a couple of pictures of the outside of the trailer, and it was so well done and so innovative that uh, I wanted you to all see it, to see if there's ideas here that you can use on your own build. Good morning, everybody. I hope it's still morning, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> My timekeeper here is Anthony. Um, Anthony is from Kissimmee, 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 <laughs> Kissimmee Florida, um, and he has a really cool cargo trailer that he did most of the work or almost all the work on it. And uh, except for the trailer. <laughs> yeah, except for the trailer. But yeah, and he's going to show it to us today, right? Yep. Okay. Well, Anthony wants to show us his 6x12 cargo trader that uh, he has, you know, he sent me pictures of this and I was so fascinated by the photographs, I told him I had to see it. So that's why he brought it up here for us to look at. Anthony, why don't you go ahead and start telling us about it because this is pretty cool. Okay, so this uh, it's, it's a 6x12 cargo trailer. I wanted to build it like a, um, a cargo hauler um, trailer uh, camper. So this, this right here is, um, this actually has a 45-gallon uh, water tank and a 50-gallon gray tank. So this is the, uh, the water fill. Uh, this right here, you connect it to the, uh, to the water, to the garden hose water. So when you go to a campground, you can, uh, you can have water on the inside. And uh, so these two connectors right here, this one, water comes out. It's gonna come out. This one water will go in, and now we go up here. This this is uh, I don't have the the uh, instant hot water yet, but I'm gonna buy a Joker uh, instant hot water. Oh yeah. Yes. So yeah. it's gonna go here. It does have a bracket on the inside, and you just open this, leave this down. So when you get to your campsite, this way the you know the the hot air can come out from the top. So it's gonna connect to this propane tank right here which I also built the, uh, the, the bracket for it. And wow. this right here, yeah, it's, it's kind of like a little heavy duty. <laughs> so anyway, so these, back to these again. Uh, from here, the water coming, um, well, uh, water coming out will go into the tank. Mm -hmm. Then water coming out of the tank goes inside the, inside the camper. And inside to, inside, to your to your shower yes, inside. Yes, to the shower inside. So it's yeah. like an on-demand. On-demand. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. This uh, I did a lot of research, and this uh, this brand here, I I watch a few other people that have used it, and they love it. Yeah, uh, supposedly, uh, once you set the water, the temperature you want, it stays. It. Yeah, yeah, it stays there. It doesn't like change or yeah. Well, as so people, that's why I like it, yeah. As people um, watch this video, they're going to want to be knowing about where you got these things. So let's start by telling them that the, that the metal work on this trailer, you actually built. Yes. You I, actually welded up. Yes, yeah. I did all the... Uh, so this, and anything, anything that you see, um, like uh, this, this is attached to the inside. But it's also, I welded a, uh, a plate inside. Inside. So yeah, I had the, the, the guts uh, all out inside. And I reinforce everything that's bolted to it, even this, uh, the bracket on this right here. Everything is uh, is uh, reinforced inside. So we move. Uh, I built this ladder myself. You know, I wanted something to just stay there, so I don't have to. I don't have a lot of storage. That's mm -hmm. why. And uh, so I built. Uh, well, I uh, bought these uh, these brackets with the uh, five gallon uh, t uh, fuel tank. Um, right down here, you can see this is where the the, the gray water. So it's kind of like a camper. It does have a valve over here. You just hook up a hose to the uh, when you go to a campground, and uh, so you can drain the water into the. Uh... So the tanks? Did you buy the tanks? Yes. You... Yeah, the tank. I did buy the tank. I did build. Um, uh, let's just say a, a mega a mega duty <laughs> um, a bracket to hold them. So they they're supported underneath too, oh, good. not yeah. just the sides. Yeah, and uh, so it's it's there to stay anyway. And uh, then we move over here. I've got a, uh, a wind on this side and on the other side. These actually, these are the, like um, 
in case of emergency. Egress windows. Yeah, yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll flip up. That's a really good thing to have. Yeah, in case of a fire or something. Uh, the other thing I didn't point out is that I've got some, uh, like those, uh, yeah, those lights, that one. I got that one there. They're, they're both connected, so at, at night, if, if you hear something outside or a bear or an animal, you can just flip a switch and it will illuminate the whole, you know, surrounding. Yeah, that's and nice. uh, because I didn't have a lot of storage on the inside, then I decided to put these uh, rigid uh, from Home Depot um, cases. It kind of helps, you know, uh, because I've got a gray water tank, so you, now you need uh, a hose, you know, for the gray water. Because we've got fresh water, then we need a fresh water hose. So these will, will help with oh, the storage. Right yeah. yeah. Very nice. Yeah. I got these, uh, these are off-road uh, tires. I had to buy um, uh, a different rim. 16 inch rim, yeah. Um, I think it's 15, but because th this tire is uh, needed the width of the rim, I had to buy, uh, yes, uh, different rims. Gotcha. Yeah. And um, this had a, um, a four inch drop axle. So I installed a 3500 uh, straight axle with brakes. So now I got brakes to assist the, you know, my truck. And, uh, and once it's all done, it's going to be heavy. That's why. Oh, sure. Yeah. So you got to be, uh, got to be prepared for that. Man, brakes on the trailer is so important. Yeah. Especially when you start outfitting it and putting heavier gear uh -huh. on board, yeah. the brakes are yeah. so nice to have. Yeah. So I've got another five gallon uh, fuel jar. So the whole idea is um, like if you go, you know, like in the boonies somewhere, you want to stay, I think I could stay two weeks off the grid. And I do have a Honda inverter generator. Yeah. So with extra fuel, you can run the, uh, you know, the generator. generator. Yeah. yeah. Because uh, right here, this yeah. is a, uh, it's a 30 oh, amp, okay. a 30 amp plug. Yeah. yeah. So like I said, it, it's, uh, it's set up. You can go to a campground, any campground, and just like a camper, you can connect your 30 amp, the, the gray water, mm. and you're, you're, you're ready. Okay, so I've got my Rhino uh, USA. They're probably made in China anyway, but uh, these are my traction boards. If I go somewhere and I uh, and I get stuck somewhere, then at least I got some help. Yep. Yeah, yeah like... Uh, we probably should think about that. <laughs> you know, these around. Well, the, in Florida, it's all sand. Oh, right. Oh, yes. Yeah, so you, you'll get... Uh-huh, so, so you, you need to be prepared. We've come, some, uh, we've come real close in the past. Oh, to, uh, oh man, yeah. it's like, oh, oh, this is sandy, four-wheel drive, just keep drive, keep uh, going, and hope we don't get... Yeah, don't somewhere. stop, yeah. yeah. So far, we've been lucky. <laughs> okay. okay, so I got my, uh, my uh, jacks right here. So I, I decided to go, these are actually five ton. Uh, but Florida is, is practically flat anyway. So with these are easy to... Uh, this actually had the, the, the handle type. And I, uh, I turn it into a, uh, so I can use it with my drill. This right here. And, um, and they are heavy duty, so you don't need to put anything on, um, let's just say, if I, if I get a flat tire, I can actually raise those and the front one and the tire stays off the ground. So that's my jack. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for, uh, to, uh, what do you call it, um, you know. Yeah. And to change the, uh, change the tires. Purpose. Yeah, yes, and yes. The yeah. stabilizer. Yeah. And uh, it doesn't have, it just has the one on the front, but with that one, it's, it's perfect. I can uh, level it with uh, the, these two and the front one. Okay, so what do we have here? So right here, I've got plenty of lights. When, at night, I want people to, to see me on the road. <laughs> sure, yeah, especially being a black, uh -huh, black trailer, yeah. yeah. And uh, so I got uh, uh, backup lights. Uh, these I will have uh, like a separate switch to. Mm -hmm. it, it will it will be used uh, like I said if I hear a bear or something outside I can turn these on too to illuminate the, the back area or if I'm backing up into somewhere uh, because then I they're not going to be connected to the truck I'll have a switch inside separate. yeah yeah, yeah. Well, good. so I got one on each side uh, right here I got my Rhino USA the my treasure roof well trash bag uh, well, is that what that is yeah Sometimes you go to, uh, you know, how you clean up the, the locations that people don't, uh, don't yeah, want right? to clean. Yeah. yeah. 
So yeah. the, I mean, this it's big, so it, it, it does fit big. like a uh, like a uh, thirteen, uh, I guess, gallon trash bag in there. So that's a Rhino trash bag. Is it? It's made yes. for this. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It goes, on, it your, goes on your spare. On your spare tire. Yeah. I never yeah. heard of that. Yeah. yeah. We should. Uh, yeah. We should find one because we're uh, always inside, uh, trash. Mm -hmm. So nice. if you look inside, you got plenty of. Uh, Plenty of room. Yeah, this way. Linda, Linda, I think you fit inside. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. <laughs> I'm, I mean, what I like about it is that you keep your trash outside, not inside the, exactly. yeah, the trailer. Yeah. yeah. So where were you when we were building our trailer? <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Uh, that's actually a table. It, it, it took me a while to, to figure out how I was going to build that table. But the table, uh, they have these uh, places that you can actually uh, or, uh, just tell me I want a, um, a four by eight or four by, and they will cut the size. Huh. Uh, this is a, it's a quarter inch. It's I mean, all uh, aluminum? Yes. So the way it works is, these drop down. These these are uh, these are not used outside. Uh, these they go inside. I don't know if you ever seen like some shelves that you can um, right. yeah you can drop them down. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. but they say it can hold. I don't know if it was like two hundred pounds. I'm like I don't think I'm gonna need that anyway. So so I made it so oh, so nice. you got your your outside uh, uh, kitchen table. Of course, whenever I make something, it, it has to be heavy duty. So if you can see the hinges are, the table is not going nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. So, nice. uh, so this way I can use my, uh, my stove. You can actually put it this way. I mean, I guess if the wind is from like from that side, mm -hmm. or we can put it here. Then that's why I also, uh, made that, uh, that profile. yeah, the, this is an 11 pounds. The, the bracket, I also made the bracket, this bracket here, so I can just connect it here, run the holes to the, uh, to the stove right here. So this is kind of like the outside kitchen. Yeah. Uh, once again, we've got another rigid uh, case here. I don't know if I'll mount another one. Like I said, I need all the, all the storage I can. Mm -hmm. So on the outside, on this side, I also uh, have a, uh, a five gallon of water. Uh, container there and I've got another one on the front so I mount them one in the back of the wheel this way you know for balance and and kind of weight yeah and the table is easy to uh, to close just go up and a locking pin yeah. Yeah, and I can tell that Linda is excited about this table because she's asked me a couple of times. <laughs> yeah. But and the problem I run into is it's when I try to figure it out, it's, it looks like it's going to be too high mm -hmm. because it's got to go over the fender. And I would ask you to put in a smaller cabinet here for the spices and the uh, my knives and stuff. Yeah, like... Uh, before I bought this, I wanted to get like a different different type. I even looked at some like aluminum like mm -hmm. truck. They got these little ones, but uh, also weight. Right. Some of them were were heavy. heavy. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, and yeah, um, yeah. I mean, on my on on this build, everything that's like I said once again, everything that bolts from the outside inside, it's reinforced inside. Mm -hmm. So I had to weld, um, you know, metal plates in the back. Then um, I tried it this way. I could just, you know, if I need to take it out, just unscrew it and take everything out. And I've got another, another window another right here. Window. Yeah, it's the same thing as the other, the the other side. And awning. Yeah, it's got an awning. So, uh, you know, just like a camper, you go somewhere. It's too. The sun is shining. Just pull it out. Mm -hmm. Set up your your kitchen here. Your uh, outside. And you're good to go. Right here, we've got a. Uh, this is to uh, you know when you go into the help, to help the camper, yeah. yeah. And you've got a 110 power here. So I guess you know when you get to a campground, if you want to, um, or if you have like an electric stove, you can set up here too. Yeah. Or, or if you want to make my, coffee. Uh, my small instant pot on that. Yeah, on the, uh, yeah. 
That's why. You see what's happening here? You see what's going to happen when I get back to Montana? The wheels, the wheels turning on Linda's head. I'm going to be a busy guy this summer. Linda, on the way, on the way to Montana, right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so the inside, uh, it, it's it's like 80% uh, finished. It's not finished yet. So yeah. it's, it's a work in progress. Yes, yes. But we can see where you're going. <laughs> um, so the, my, um, what I want to do is build like a small toy hauler. Um, mm -hmm. I've got a 10 foot kayak, which fits perfect in here. Mm -hmm. And in the future, just like you guys, a four wheeler. Ooh, yeah. You know what I mean? That's why I wanted like a little, because yeah, yeah, I think you got enough room here for a, a four wheeler. Yeah. A small four wheeler. And uh, so these, uh, these right here, they, they come down. You can use it as a... Uh, as a bed yeah. or a let couch. Me, let me do this one here. So we can just open. Oh, sorry. Do these legs come out too? Yeah, this, this we don't have to, uh, okay, oh, for the bed I guess we can do, yeah, go ahead, if you want to open. We'll show the bed, then we'll do the, uh, this press, uh, yeah, press right here, give her a little, okay, so, yeah, watch out. So huh. this would be a bed, um, both of them don't, don't fit in here, so mm -hmm. what we do is, we lift this one up. Now we close it. Yeah. Okay. So this one goes like this. So this is also a. Um, oh, it's a nice. Yeah. Side. So you so you can eat inside. I'm going to build like a small a small table here. Mm-hmm. And you can eat in here. Sure. I mean the the purpose of the inside is is mostly uh, because in Florida in the summertime it rains almost every afternoon. You know, so, so you it's just, just to get out of the rain. Yeah, yeah or inside a place and to, to sleep. sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, the humidity. Uh, when you wake up in the morning, it's it will be seventy degrees in the summertime, and trust me, you feel it. It's mm -hmm. kind of still hot. That's why uh, I'm building it like this, and with AC and everything, so you can you know sleep comfortable and stuff like that. So on, and uh, on this side here, I'm gonna have a uh, like a small television with uh, like a. A DVD player, so I got a lot of DVDs at home, so old movies, yeah, so we can I watch. Yeah, I love those yeah. old movies, <laughs> old westerns. <laughs> so we can, uh, when we have the bed set up, this this side actually comes down, and it stays right here, right next to this one. Oh yeah. And we can yeah. sit like over there with our backs towards there, and mm -hmm. uh, and watch a movie there. Sure. That's why I put this uh, this power outlet here. It's got the, the USB and the USB, USB-C mm -hmm. for the newer. And right here we've got the, uh, the shades for the, uh, for, the, uh, for the window. It has a screen inside, of course. Yep. And this is the uh, egress. Yeah. Yep. yeah. It, the, uh, well, I can, I can show you on this side here. Yeah. This way, and you just pull the pull this out. It take uh, the removes the screen, mm -hmm. and this right here, you just go all the way out, and that that actually goes up, so you can just jump to the outside. In case of a fire, you sure. know, it's yeah. always good to have the to be able to do that. And uh, right here, I decided to in today's, you know, there's always uh, phones to charge, or so I put. Um, was a USB and USB-C. Yep. And I put one on that corner there. Oh, and, good. Uh, and the same thing on, on this side. Yeah, I got the same thing on this side too, so. Looking oh. inside, I, uh, the, the whole trailer inside and also the, uh, the ceiling is insulated mm -hmm. uh, with one inch the uh, foam, all, everything. Uh, so I bought this, um, this air fan here it kind of it uh it's it's actually pretty good it has a, a couple of speeds and it, it pulls in, pulls in and it pushes out yeah. yeah so it goes either way either way you want it and also, supposedly if it rains it will uh close by itself but i want to try and put those those max air fan uh covers over oh, it oh yeah i want to try and put one of those so the uh the lights 
Um, I wanted them to, I want to, I wanted to be able to just uh, see how you shut them off. So all these four are in the same uh, same switch, and uh, this way, you know, if we're watching a movie, we can, we can just keep one light on. How tall is your wife? <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not that tall. <laughs> I'm taller than her. Yeah. yeah. That's so cool. I, I put these uh, with the on and off switch. Um, this one, this is the this one here is connected separate, but the reason why I did that is like when you're coming from the from the the front door. Mm -hmm. Oh, you have a switch that you can just yeah. Hit. Yeah. So the, this first one is actually a step light. This one here. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah. See the. Oh yeah, I see it. See right here. Uh huh. And at night, I mean, it does. Yeah, it does give I like you a nice, that. Uh, yeah. So this this way from outside, I can just reach, you know, turn that on. Mm -hmm. Or if we're going somewhere at night, I can leave that on, because these these lights don't really spend a lot of a lot of power. So. Yeah. Because right now we we have to use a headlamp. So this is my uh, where the cassette toilet. What you do is you just come in here. There's like a little clip right here. You have to make sure that the door inside is closed. The uh, there's like a lever right there. See that? Oh lever? yeah. 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 You just pull this out. I still got the wires here because this is actually a 12 volt. Uh, it has a like a water pump in there, so it's not connected yet. And you just pull the tank out, and you go to a dump station. It's a nice roomy shower too. Yeah, it's um, we'll have a shower head on this side because that's where my uh, my water comes from that mm -hmm. side there. And I will put a uh, put also also put a light over here. So I'm, I might put the shower here on the side. It's going to have a uh, right. Uh, I'm not sure yet. The um, because I need all the all the storage. Mm -hmm. Of course, what I might do here, like from for this upper part here, I might actually put a door on the bathroom here. One of those uh, that you can oh yeah like the water waterproof and... yeah. This way I can lift it up. And, and kind of use this uh, a storage here. And on this side, I might do the same thing. I don't know yet. Are you gonna um, enclose this part? Yeah, and, yeah. It's yeah. gonna have, uh, the kitchen will go across here. Yeah, so this uh, right here, because I got a lot of room here, I might actually put a uh, another door on, uh, on, on the inside here. And my water pump is gonna go down there too. Down so in there. Yeah, I mean, Yep. I, I don't have a design for this trailer. It's it's all in my uh, it's all in your head. As yeah, I go. That's as I go. Okay, yeah. so what are, what do I need to do here? How am I gonna do it? That's that's how I roll. Yeah. That's, that's how that's that, how I like it. That's how we do it. <laughs> so up here I um, I've got a, an AC system and of course this is a window AC, so it does have to have fresh air mm -hmm. coming in. So uh, when you when you're trying something first you make mistakes so i put three three vents on top but they were small oh i see yeah. so i had to put a uh, big vents i i couldn't find one to go so to go like this way on top mm -hmm. okay i couldn't find one so i ended up putting uh one on each corner and i left the little one in the middle so i used the uh, those long uh, they use them on a uh, refrigerator on on the rvs mm -hmm. On, for the refrigerators on mm -hmm. top, yeah. so that's what I end up putting on this one. This way, you got a, like a like a bigger hole up there, mm -hmm. and the the AC to suck fresh it air. Sucks yeah, right through there. Because yeah. the way I build it is the uh, the fresh air and the back is is separate from the it's insulated too. This way, when the, the fresh air is sucking air in. It's not sucking the, 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 hot, the hot, yes. The hot air. So the, the intake air is on the roof? Yes. And the and I, exit is, is on I've the got, front? I've got a door, yeah. And um, so this is my, it's, it's going to be my uh, electrical, my 12 volt electrical. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put another switch panel here. It's at home, but I, um, because I would have to take this one out. So I want to do it when I'm ready to paint this and just put it in and don't touch it again. <laughs> So I'll show you. You're gonna see all the. Oh, I didn't even know oh, that was a door. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
So um, the way I, I made it, I got my fuse box here. When you buy these, they actually have, um, they don't have, uh, it's just a positive and negative, but I wanted each circuit to have its own fuse to be independent. If one circuit goes, it's not going to kill the right, whole thing. Right, it's not going to kill the whole, the whole thing. thing. Yes. Yeah. And as you can see, there's some wires here. They are still marked. And so I know which, which one goes which. Yeah, I like that. I always yeah. tell him to mark stuff. <laughs> yes. For me, you know. Yeah. Because he knows where it goes, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like I said, there's my fuse box, all my wires. They all come in from that corner there, from the back, uh, from that side too and all over here and uh, this way if I, need to, if I need to work on it it's easy to work on when I'm done I just make sure the wires are all yep. inside there nice and all set and I'm done <laughs> so Anthony what is this <laughs> <laughs> well this is my it's uh, some of my storage oh I uh, because I, I didn't want to put cabinets inside because mm -hmm. of the, the beds and stuff. So I decided to build this underneath. And this will actually uh, help protect the, uh, the gray tank. Oh, right, because you have tanks yes, right back yeah. here. So that will help protect the, the gray tank. And uh, underneath here, the, see where the water is? Uh -huh. It actually comes like across and to a uh, hose to the gray tank. And so I, I put a, uh, like a, a piece of wood um kind of like slant it mm -hmm. this way will help when you're driving will help like you know like the winds or if something like hits it right not to not to hit the, the tanks <laughs> yeah uh, look at that <laughs> it's pretty strong mm -hmm. yeah it's uh reinforced with metal on the outside then three three quarter uh this or almost three quarter plywood so uh this, the material is a PVC liner, a shower liner. That's what I use with, uh, I glued it with the, the, on mm -hmm. the inside. Then I put this uh, aluminum around here to kind of hold it so it don't, you know, start peeling or... But it, it does go like uh, halfway. I mean, it goes ways, way down there. You can never have too much storage anyway, so... Good place for it. Yeah. <laughs> right here up front. I'm going to build a uh, counter. It will be my uh, my kitchen. Um, I also have my uh, <clears throat> my uh, shore power there, all the electric, and I'm going to put a um, like a, a cooler right here a on, side on a slide. slide. Yeah, on a slide, and uh, the right side here will be for my uh, power. I still don't know what I'm going to use, um, but that will be for my power. My mm -hmm. 12, uh, 12 volt, like a, like that little power pack there, that right. Opus, Are you, but something bigger. Okay. I, I need something that can run the, uh, the AC, AC during the night, yes, that's what I need. But uh, yeah, we'll have like a counter here, you know, a couple lights and... Very nice. And it, it might, I might put a, uh, like a little kitchen sink, mm -hmm. and inside I don't want to use propane. I want to use like a, one of those electric uh, stoves. Right. Um, yeah, what, like a small... Uh, a lot of folks use the um, induction. Induction, yeah. yeah. Induction, yeah. Something like that on the inside. And propane on the outside. This way I don't have to worry about. Yeah. But yeah, that's the, uh, that's the inside. So right here, this is, the, uh, this is the vent for the air condition. It's quite a stout door. Yeah. Yeah, these, these are made... Uh, so they so you can put them on like on the floor of boats and you can actually walk over it oh that's why they're all reinforced like this yeah yeah so as you can see the in the, the air condition there and um so everything is painted and um i put these right here these are uh, cabinet uh little struts they don't i think they're like seven pounds so they're not too uh but what i want to do is i want to build something almost like um like a, sh uh, not a shade, but if it rains, mm -hmm. so the water doesn't go inside. Something right. that I can remove, yeah. Right. So it has a seal right here, so a rubber seal all yeah. the way around. So the water, yeah, it doesn't when go you're inside. driving in the rain, it will yeah. uh, go in. But um, on the inside, I don't know if you're noticing a blue hose in there, that's actually a drain for the AC uh, on, or against the wall. Yeah, I've got a drain all the way on the corner there that comes out through, the, through there. 
So, I mean, it, it can rain in here. It's not going to do anything. It's painted inside, and I did, I used uh, the um, F FRP uh, board, uh, like in the shower, that whiteboard. Uh -huh. yeah. um, I it's uh, it's inside here too. So, so it's not gonna um, you know it's not gonna go bad. I was just up looking on the roof at those vents, and these uh, this ladder is really strong. Yeah, good job, Anthony. All right, Anthony. Um... I gotta ask you this because everybody's gonna be asking <laughs> us, what do you tow with and how do you like towing it? I know in Florida it's pretty much, pretty much flat, flat yeah. straight away, but <laughs> tell us about your tow vehicle. It's a, a 2021 a Toyota Tacoma S SR5, 4x4. So it does have the, uh, I did put this sticker here because somehow uh, it's a four wheel drive, but Toyota believes this shouldn't come with a sticker on oh. it. <laughs> And uh, uh, one thing I've changed, it did come with this, uh, with this, with this uh, yeah, with the yeah. folding, it's, it's a folding type, and it came with those boards. The only thing I've done so far is I replaced the, uh, the tires, I put the Michelin uh, uh, keyless, and these are uh, uh, truck tires. So they are the, supposedly the uh, eight ply or something. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you wanna, uh, in Florida there's a lot of sand, so if you want to, um, what do you call, deflate your tires, mm -hmm. at least you got a strong uh, tire that you can do it. That you yeah. can do it. And it's not going to, because this, this, this truck comes pretty much with, uh, with car tires. It's, the, the, it's, this is a six or an eight? It's a V6, a 3.5 liter. Oh. Yeah. It's a nice truck. Uh, it tows pretty good. I mean, I know these trucks are not really made to tow. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people complain about it, but. You just have to kind of be patient with it. You you can't go 80 miles per hour when, when you're towing. Right. You just slow down and uh, take your time. I mean, okay. you got to know that you got some weight in the back, so What's you just take your time. Uh, I believe these come with a six-speed automatic. It's an automatic, yeah. So they made these more for like fuel economy. So the way it drives, it doesn't have the... Um, it, it's pretty much... That's why people complain when you take off and they don't have a lot of power. But they do have power when you step on it. I mean, they just don't make them that you just touch it and it like takes off, you know, right. because of uh, the way they regulate the for fuel, uh, for emissions, so, and right. fuel consumption. That's right. Our experience with tow vehicles, because we've had uh, V6s mm -hmm. and uh, now we've got a V8. And our experience is no matter what we get, we always get around 12 miles oh, per gallon, yeah. no matter what we're told. <laughs> the mileage <laughs> remains the same. So we might as well have the more powerful V8 because we're still going to get, I think we got 13 with our Mazda um, what, CR, CR, CX-9. CX-9. Oh, we CX got 13 with the CX-9 and on the highway we get 12 with our uh, our V8 Yukon over there. But I'm supposing, <laughs> I'm thinking you're about the same. You haven't uh, tested it? When I checked, um, it said 11 something. There you go. Yeah. That's yeah. about it. What do you think of the guy's trailer? Anthony yeah. did a good job, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, it's really, really nice. I really like it. Very innovative. Yeah, so... I appreciate so. you letting us see it like this, because like I told them earlier in the video, when I first started, when I saw the pictures, I had to see your trailer. So. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, like, uh, as I said before, the reason is I watch your channel and I like what you guys do, you know, go boondocking and uh, like into the woods and stuff. And I always had in mind, man, someday I would like to be there with uh, Rick and Linda. Oh, that, and, we can uh, do that now. So when you, on uh, not your last video, but before your last video, you mentioned, I'm heading to Florida. I'm like, wait a minute, he's coming to Florida. They're coming to Florida, so I have to contact him. And so I, after I contacted, you know, uh, you guys, I was like, wait a minute. Usually, no, they're probably gone already, you know, that's yeah. why. So I said, okay, but if he, if he answers, well, maybe he's still around, so. Yeah. <laughs> there was something you wanted to say on video. Go yes. ahead. Uh, uh, I wanted to say hi to uh, my parents. Uh, they're, they're in the Azores, in uh, Terceira Island. Uh, olá, mãe e pai. Um beijo e um abraço muito apertado. E a gente vai se ver em setembro. Beijo e abraço. Bye. There you go. Hey, you guys. Thank you for coming along and watching this video. Hope you got some good ideas out of it for your build. Yeah. We'll see and you around. Aloha to Anthony's parents. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we'll see you around. <laughs>